Irish rally driver Craig Breen has died in a crash in Croatia. The 33-year-old Waterford man was taking part in a pre-test event at the time of the incident. The Road Safety Authority, for whom he was an ambassador, said he was an inspirational sports person who contributed to the greater good through his advocacy work. Waterford's Craig Breen was Ireland's top rally driver and a full-time professional competing with Hyundai Shell Mobis World Rally Team in the World Championship. He'd started the year well, having finished second at Rally Sweden in February, equaling his career best. I've never had anything like that before. That's uh, <laughs> just that. More that, please, yeah. The Waterford man was participating in a pre-test event ahead of next week's Croatia rally when he reportedly went off the road and collided with the pole. Confirmation of his death and that his co-driver James Fulton was unharmed came in a statement from Hyundai Motorsport who offered their sincerest condolences to his family, friends and fans. The president of the Croatian Auto and Karting Association, Davrin Stetner, said it was a terrible thing. A police investigation, he said, is trying to find out what happened and they are really shaken by such a shocking event. On Twitter, the World Rally Championship said they were shocked and saddened too to learn of his passing. Their thoughts and condolences, they said, were with his family and friends at this incredibly sad time. A prodigious carter, rallying was in his blood. His father Ray was a national champion and he made the switch in 2009, amassing in the years that followed a series of podium finishes unequalled in Irish rallying. This afternoon, the sports governing body here, Motorsport Ireland, said the community is numbed by this tragic news. Craig, they said, was a world-class driver and a world-class person. They offered their deepest condolences to his family, adding that their thoughts remain with his co-driver James Fulton and they hope they all find the strength and support they need at this unimaginably tragic time. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News.